It was the biggest sailing story of 2016, and it continues to get more views than the America's Cup. Hello and welcome to Lucky Fish Gets Away. I'm Stuart Coates. The story I'm talking about, of course, is the deal between YouTube's Sailing La Vagabond and the French catamaran manufacturer, Outremer. I'm really excited about this deal because I think it's great news for the sailing community. Now, let's take a look at the decline in sailing since 2004 worldwide using Google Trends. The last couple of images will really surprise you. For the search term sailing, it's all down, with seasonal peaks and troughs, but each year the highs and lows are lower than the previous year. And for the term sailboat, it's even more pronounced. Currently, use of this term is only 20% of what it was in 2004. These are graphs from Google Trends and assume that people's search activity in Google reflects the general state of the sailing industry, which is a pretty reasonable assumption. The trends are all down, and this is despite boat builders spending millions of dollars and euros on marketing during this time. So what about the world's largest boat builder, Beneteau? How have they been faring? Well, their curve, not surprisingly, reflects the previous two lower highs and lower lows. But what happens if we hone in on the specific model of Beneteau used by Sailing La Vagabond, the Beneteau Kiklades? They began production in 2005 and finished in 2007. Something happened around October 2014, about the same time as Sailing La Vagabond channel kicked off. Zooming into the period SLV's channel has been running, the trend is all up, with a peak mid last year. But then something happened in September which burst the bubble of interest. It was, of course, when this announcement was made. Let's cross over to Outremer and see where all these searches and viewers went. The graphic speaks for itself. A spike at the time the announcement was made and a nice little bit of momentum building from the start of this year. Outremer will be happy about this. Zooming out and back towards 2004, they had been in a similar state of falling interest in their brand. What about those other doyens of sailing videos? SV Delos. They sail an AML Super Maramu. Here is AML Yacht's chart since 2004. They were doing well up until the GFC and appear to have been pretty consistent since the crash. Did Delos cause an uptick in interest in their boats? Here's the chart for the Super Maramu since 2004. Wow, look at that upswing. That started about the same time that Delos Channel really got into gear. These charts illustrate the power of this new form of media, and Outremer and SLV appear to be the first ones to really harness it. To put it in another context, how about the millions or hundreds of millions of dollars spent by Emirates and Oracle on the America's Cup? The official America's Cup YouTube channel still can't pull the numbers of subscribers or views as Delos and SLV. Since the success of SV Delos and Sailing the Vagabond, the number of YouTube sailing channels has really exploded. The last count I heard was over 400. This is great news for those of us that remember the only sports you could watch on TV were football, cricket, baseball, and golf. I have always felt that YouTube stood up for the democratisation of media. It is great news that we're now seeing homemade movies challenging traditional marketing tools like boat shows with their super expensive stands, costs of which are passed on to us, the consumers. And magazine advertorials compromised by commercial gain. So I'm keen to hear your views about this new trend in sailing. Please click the subscribe button below. After all, your click can go a long way. For regular viewers, we'll be returning to our transatlantic video log uh, next week when we set off on our 3,000 mile leg from Ascension Island to Barbados. Have a great weekend everyone, and uh, by the way, I will be watching the America's Cup. Go Team New Zealand!